Hi guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. This is going to be part one about custodial accounts. In this part one, I'll explain what a custodial account is and why you might want to choose a custodial account, including the benefits of it. In other parts of this video series, we'll talk about how to set up custodial accounts at Charles Schwab, at Vanguard, and at Fidelity. So let's get right into this. What is a custodial account? Well, a custodial account is a brokerage account that allows you as an adult, a guardian, a grandparent, uh, someone who has a minor that they love and care for in their life to make a financial gift to a minor and to help teach them about investing. Now the account is set up by an adult and then it is turned over to the child when he or she reaches the age of majority. For my son, we did that at age 18. Now this is a brokerage account just like any other investment brokerage account with a few exceptions which we will cover. The first thing you need to know about this account is all assets are held in the child's name. While you are the one who is technically in charge of this account, the assets belong to the child. What follows on there then is that a custodial account is an irrevocable gift and must be turned over to the child when he or she reaches the age of majority. For my son, we did it at 18, but that could be potentially age 21 depending on the governing state and how you set up the account. Now remember, these assets belong to the minor. So any funds that are used out of this account must be used for the sole benefit of the minor prior to the age of majority. So you can't use this money for a down payment on your own car, but if the minor was gonna purchase a car, you could use the money for that. Another important thing to remember here is that when the child does reach the age of applying for college, 20% of the assets in this account will be considered when applying for financial aid. Lastly, you should know that any dividends or capital gains received by this account prior to the child turning 19 are considered unearned income and the first $2,200 of that unearned income are tax free. Anything over that get taxed at the parent's tax rate. All right, we've covered what a custodial brokerage account is. Now let's talk about why you might want to choose this type of account for that loved minor in your life. I think number one is education here and coaching. When you have set this type of account up for this minor, you're going to allow them to start learning about investing and they're going to have someone by their side who can coach them through the decisions that they're going to make. Now when we did this for my son, he actually ran the, ran the account. I was able to see what was going on, what he was purchasing if I wanted to. I could see how much money was in there but I let him actually make the decisions which stocks he would choose and which stocks he would sell. I think one of the best ways to learn about investing is to actually start doing it yourself and this allows a miner to start doing that. Now with some brokerage accounts, you'll actually be able to gain access to all of their investment research and tools and strategies as well. So that miner, even if they're not buying and selling uh, stocks, bonds, ETFs, what have you, they can still be learning from their investment account. Now I think next and very close to the value of the education is the long-term growth. We all know that savings accounts, even high yield savings accounts and CDs and money market accounts just don't have the same type of return as the stock market. By getting your teen or even a child younger than their teen years started in investing early is going to allow for some very long-term growth and some very healthy and amazing compound interest. Lastly, I think this allows you to actually give your child, your, the minor in your life, a significant gift each year that can be tax-free. In the United States, there is no gift tax incurred on contributions up to $15,000 per adult or $30,000 per couple. So potentially you could fund this account with $30,000 per year and the child will not be paying a gift tax. One last reason I think for a custodial account is it allows other adults in the child's life to be able to fund their investment account as well. So at birthday and Christmas time, if a grandparent, aunt or uncle or anyone else wants to give a gift of money to the child for investing, this provides a very convenient avenue for that. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Please click on the YouTube playlist now for creating custodial accounts. And until next time, enjoy your investing.